Now as we're studying paint and how it dries, it's very important to being a good painter is to understand how the medium dries. Because a lot of um, beginner, beginning painters or hobbyists, which is what I'm doing right now, put the paint on, it dries, they sand it out, and all of a sudden it keeps drying and they get really frustrated. So I've got some fine examples here. I've used the 2000 with along with um, my a little bit of, you want to use warm water and you want to use a little bit of um, soap in that to give it a little bit of uh, lubrication also if you want to take your your sandpaper right here your 2000 and you want to after you get your hot water soak it in that water for 15 minutes and when it comes out it'll be nice and smooth you'll also get a smoother finish but what I wanted to show you is we were talking about this is the front of the fender we were talking about these pits if you'll notice these these two um, I'll get this as close as I can these you see this, these three large pits right here and there's another one right there all these other little tiny pits that you see, what those are are tiny, tiny pockets of reducer that have popped out of the paint and they've left all those little dots. Now when we went to, on, on, on the, when I fixed this, this uh, front piece here, I said I wasn't going to go th all the way through three layers of clear to get these out. So what I did is I took half of this out, I put on another two layers of clear, and now what I'll do is take off one layer and smooth that out. Now that's one way that you can use English to fix your problems because remember our main goal is to have the surface as smooth as possible before we polish. Now if you look on the back here, here's another good example. Right here, let's see if I can get it in the light. I'm, I'm going to get a really good $2,000 camera, something I can get really close up with. But if you'll notice right here, it looks like a, if you'll look in the clear, you'll see a kind of a splotch. That's where I've taken a little tiny bit of black paint and a uh, Q-tip, and I put a little tiny bit of black paint right there. Now that's on top of the clear, before I cleared it before. There's two coats of clear on top of it. The point is that matter can neither be created nor destroyed. As you can see, there is a layer of something right there. You can't just put material like paint in layers on a project in some places and expect it not to show. And when you have a problem like this you want to take your sandpaper and you want to work around it you want to smooth there might be a small hump right here that you'll never see but you just don't want to sit here and grind and grind and grind and grind till it's gone you want to do the whole panel little by little now one other major factor in this is these little tiny edges right here you'll see them see them right there you do not want to get your sandpaper over this at all while you're sanding. You want to do the last thing. You want to take your sandpaper, okay, otherwise you'll burn through in a second. You want to take your sandpaper and you want to go right along this line, just like this, with it down like that. And the same thing up here and here. Just go back and forth along the line. The last thing that we'll do is this edge, even if you do it. You really don't have to do it because this will be so shiny that it'll overshadow it. But if you go and start to work on your, on your sanding, you're going to put more pressure on this edge. Remember what I told you about edges. They're thin. So stay off those and up here. And also, be very careful around this edge right here, this metal edge. 
Okay, you want to stay about, oh, I don't know, eighth of an inch away from there. It, it, always. Because the metal is, is very, very, the paint's very, very thin right there. And once you go through it, it's just a bitch. And uh, see, I fixed that little problem right there. That where the, the paint chipped off, then I put a couple things to clear on it. I'll just stay away from that area. And these are some of the fine tuning things that pop up while you're trying to get a, uh, a smooth surface. And if you take your time and you know what you're doing and you have a great teacher like me, then you and me together will, and with our little backyard tools, will slowly sand this thing smooth and then polish it. Here's another uh, scratch and swirl remover I, I found outside. It comes in a whole bunch of different things. What it is, it's just it's a little bit of wax, a little bit of um, fine, really, really fine uh, sanding material and a little bit of um, oil in it. Alright, I'm going to sand all this down and we'll do another video.